Hello friends. Another very important concept for competitive exams. How many zeros in the product? Now see I have written some products here and uh, the question usually in competitions they ask you how many zeros will come in this product that is in the final answer how many zeros you find at the end of the number. Like if you multiply all these numbers there may be some 1 0, 2 0 or 3 zeros at the end. Now see one thing to understand here is that how you get a zero. Now see suppose this is a number ending with zero that means that particular number is divisible by 10. So anything which is divisible by 10 obviously it will end with 0. I am not I am talking of perfect numbers not decimals. Okay so and 10 has factors 5 and 2. So every product if it ends with a 0 it should have 5's and 2's in the factors. Now this is one thing we need to remember. So how many zeros are contained in the product depends on how many 5's and how many 2's we have in the product of all the numbers. So we need to factorize each and every number and see how many 2's and 5's are there. And what do we do after finding the number of 2's and 5's? Let us first factorize the first question and then I will tell you the rule for this. Now see 15 can be factorized as 3 and 5. 6 is obviously 2 and 3 and 12 is 2 into 2 into 3. Now see the number of factors here. I will not consider this 3's. I will consider only 2's and 5's. How many pairs of 5 and 2 are made? See 5 and 2, one pair and there is no other pair of 5 and 2. We have more number of 2's but only one 5 here. So the number of 2's and number of 5's. Just count them and the lesser one that is we have only one 5 but three 2's so there will be only one 0 in the product because 5 into 2 is 10 and 2 into 2 is 4 it, it does not result in a 10. So how many pairs of 5's and 2's? Only one pair that means the answer is only one 0. So the answer will be something like this. Let us verify this and uh, check whether we have done this correctly or not. So here we have the number 15, 6 and 12. If you multiply 15 and 6, this is 90. And if you multiply this by 12, this is going to give you 12 9 is 108. So 1080. Now see how many zeros are contained in the product at the end. I am talking at the end, not in between the number. How many zeros will the product end with? So there is only one zero here and that's what we have found out without multiplying all these three numbers. Now let's see some more examples. See 125, we all know that 125 is actually 5 cube. So we have three fives and 91 is 13 into 7. So 7 into 13 and 8 is 2 into 2 into 2. So I factorize this and now we have to make pairs of fives and twos. So this is one pair, this is two pairs, this is three pairs. So there are three pairs. So our answer for this question will end with three zeros. So three zero will be there at the end. So our answer will be like something ending with three zeros at the end. Now let's see the third question. In this question also we have a similar kind of uh, quantity say three numbers here and three numbers here. You may have four, five, ten, fifteen numbers also but in case of greater number of uh, natural numbers given in the question you have separate rules for that. So that this is why I am taking up this is the first part then in second part I will discuss more about this important trick. Now see 40. 40 is 2, 2, this is 4 and 10. So 2 and 5. 8 into 5, 40. Now 75 is 5 into 5, 25 into 3, 75. And 14 is 2 into 7. And now I will reduce the complexity of the problem here. Now see in this, how many 2's are here? 3 here 
and one here. So we have four twos. How many twos? Four. How many fives? Three. So which is the minimum of four and three? It is three. So our answer is three zeros. So that is our simple answer. Three zeros. So you have to take the minimum of number of twos and number of fives. Now, I think that solves many of your problems faced in competitions. Let's see three more questions wherein I am taking numbers which are little bit larger. You need to know how to factorize the numbers very easily. And once you can factorize the numbers easily, then things will be very easy for you. Now see 36. This is 2, 18. So 2, 9. So 3 and 3. You don't even write, need to write other factors. If you don't write this 3 and 3, then also it is good. So let me just decrease the complexity further. I will not write the factors other than 2's and 5's. So 2 means 18. 2 means 9. Now 9 cannot have factors 2 and 5. So I am leaving behind this 9. 45 is 5. And uh, 29. So 29, I am leaving that 29. 54 is divisible by 2, you get 27. 27 is 3 cubes, so all 3's, so leave that also. Now see the number of 2's here. Number of 2's is 3. And number of 5's is 1. So which is the minimum of these two? Minimum is 1. So answer will be only 1, 0. So if you find the product of these three numbers, you can pick up the calculator and check the product of 36, 145 and 54. The product will contain only one zero at the end. Mind you, I am talking of the number of zeros at the end, just like I have written here. There may be zeros in the middle. We are not considering that. Okay, now 250, 92, 15, 28. Very quickly, let's do it. See 2, 125. 125 means 5, 5 and 5. 92 means 2. So we have a 46. 46 means 2. We have a 23. Now 23 is a prime number. So just leave that 23. I don't want any other factor other than 5s and 2s. 15. 15 is 3 into 5. I am not writing 3. I will just write 5. 28 is 2. 14, 2, 7. So I am not writing 7. So see the number of 2's and 5's here. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So number of 2's is 5. And what about 5's? 1, 2, 3, 4. And 5's are 4 in number. So what is the minimum of 5 and 4? The minimum of 5 and 4 is 4. So your answer for the question is four zeros. Students who have practiced this method, they can find the number of zeros in a flash. And just by looking at the number, you can really find out how many zeros will the product contain. You have seen five examples and I'm sure you must have learned the method by now. So let's have the final example. This is a product of four numbers again. We have a 13 here, a 26, a 65 and a 40. So let's make the factors. Now see 13 is a prime number. So it won't have any factors other than 1 and itself. So just forget 13. 26 is 2 into 13. So we will have a 2 here. But the remaining factor is 13. We don't want 13. 65 is 13 into 5, so 5 retained and again 13 omitted. What about 40? 40 is 2, then 20, then 2 and 10. 10 means 2 and 5, so 8, 8 into 5 is 40. So see I have made the factors but I have written factors only in 2's and 5's. I have just neglected the other factors. Now count. See 2, 2's are 4 
and what about fives? Fives are only two. What is the minimum of four and two? It is two. So your answer will have two zeros at the end of this product. Friends, a very very important video, and I'm sure. If you have watched this video and mastered this method, then next video, that is part two of this, how many zeros in the product will be very, very interesting for you. So uh, do watch out for that video to be uploaded in uh, uh, consecutive, uh, you know, videos uh, of this series. And I'm sure all these videos will surely help you save time in the competitive exams. So friends, if you're liking all these videos posted on the channel, do share it with your friends so that even they can be benefited and do not forget to subscribe the channel.